Hello, um, this video I'll be showing you how to connect Rescom Cloud to Telecoms Exchange to initiate and terminate voice calls to different carriers using a single API. So first, you'll need to have a Rescom valid account, a Rescom Cloud valid account and a Telecoms Exchange buyer account. So once you have got those two, you will be ready to start connecting things together. So to connect Telecoms Exchange to Restcom Cloud, first of all, you'll need to click on Bring Your Own Carrier, uh, BYOC. So you click on Configure BYOC, then you choose Voice, and it's going to ask you for the signaling IP address. You can type in Telecoms Exchange, a zip 01 to telecomsexchange.com or directly type the IP address that you'll be sending the calls to. To keep things simple, we'll use a domain. Second, you choose the equipment type, just type other, and then type telecoms exchange. ETMF support, we'll choose SIP info, codec supported, both. If you want additional codecs, you can just type it here. Um, then you'll notice here, it's giving you the <coughs> the IP address that you need to whitelist on your telecoms exchange account. So you see an USA based IP address and a European uh, point of presence as well. So you can choose whichever you prefer and then click submit. Once you submit, the Rescom Cloud team will confirm to you once the bring your own carrier configuration is ready for use. Then right after that, what you need to do is go to your telecoms exchange buyer account click on accounts and whitelist the ip address uh, here or you can add new ip if there is multiple multiple ips that you need to whitelist you can just add as many as you want no problem with that just type the ip address here and click add now, please note, when you're adding multiple IP addresses and you have already previously purchased some care, some routes and subscribed to some routes from some carriers, you need to click on this option so you don't have to go to Market View and subscribe again to different carriers. Once you have whitelisted your IPs, you can go to My Inner Connections and it will show you all the carriers you're subscribed to already. If you need to subscribe to new carriers, you can simply click on Market View and search for the carriers you want for a specific breakout or a specific country or all countries doesn't matter in this tutorial I'll be just demonstrating um, how to search for a specific country in the market view so I'm looking for this specific country code uh, I want to see the lowest price under route type CLI so as I can see here different carriers offering this this code um, I'm gonna subscribe to Airtel as you notice here, Airtel tech prefix is 73297 hash or pound key. That's when we're going to use, we're going to use this in Rescom in a bit when initiating a call in order to be routing our calls to this specific carrier. I'm going to click confirm purchase. That's it. We're done. As you can see here, Airtel is ready to use. Okay. So what we're going to do next is go back to Rescom click on account and each account has its own account SID and authentication token. In order to initiate calls from the API, you must have, you must authenticate with those valid account SID and authentication token. So as, as shown in, um, in the RESCOM documentation, to initiate voice calls, um, you're going to have to enter to, to, to extract some parameters. So as you can see here, 
we're making a curl request and that's our account sit and authentication token right here and then we're setting the from number which is the caller ID that's gonna show when dialing the other side and the two number so in the two number please note this 73297 and these characters here the percent 23 these represent the pound sign or the hash or the hash key so we're, we're, we're that's why you see that and then we're putting the phone number afterwards which is this one 96279 that's my cell phone so we're gonna initiate a call to my cell phone using the tech prefix of Airtel and then once I pick up what it's gonna do is gonna play the scenario or the, the app URL that's configured here and I will let me let me load that up in the browser so you'll see what it does um, so if we go to this specific URL here so this is an XML file so what it's gonna say is welcome to telecoms exchange and rescom integration etc 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 so whatever is configured in in this URL uh, to say uh, it's gonna be played to us when when we initiate the request so when we're when we're initiating the request we can monitor things live in the log section here so let's try it out Sorry about that. One second. I think I'm doing something wrong here. All right, so as you can see here now, it's working, um, and I'm getting a phone call. Welcome to Telecom's Exchange and Rescom Integration. You can now route calls using Rescom API to any carrier and switch between them by simply changing the tech prefix for calls made. Goodbye. There you go. As you can see, it played the content configured in this URL here when I picked up the call. So let's try something else. Let's let's try to do um, an Uber um, ride sharing kind of scenario. So let's say that you ordered. Let's say you ordered. Um, a ride using Uber or some ride sharing service <clears throat> and then <clears throat> the driver is one minute away to go out. And we're gonna save that and initiate the same call again. Let's see what happens. All 
Right, is that the call? Driver one, I knew the way. Go outside now. That's it. So if you go to <clears throat> Telecom Exchange, you'll see that the call has been completed. It will show you the cost for the per minute for these calls. Um, and as you can see, the seller or the vendor that terminated these calls is Airtel. Let's say that we want to switch carriers. Uh, let's say Airtel is having some problems and we want to switch the, the calls out to, to these guys. So all we have to do is change the prefix here. So we're going to go to back here to the terminal. And let's clear this. And all right. So. What we're going to do now is just change the tech prefix in the to field. So we're going to use the second carrier in the to field. And now it should route that call to Div instead of Airtel. Let's try that out. All right, call is initiated with this prefix, as you can see. call should end here. So as you can see, we just completely rerouted traffic from one carrier to another right from our API uh, call using a different tech prefix. All right. So let's go back to Rascom Cloud here. You can see in the logs that the call was completed. You can see that this call was sent using this prefix and the previous one was a different prefix. So each one went to a different carrier on Telecom Exchange.